Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is top down analysis using ICT format. Now, I would like to give a big shout out to my coach. I always give a big shout out to him because it's nice to find a coach that will guide you like hand to hand on this whole um forex thing, this whole analysis thing. But he did a good job on me. Now, I'm going to start with the monthly time frame. I'm going to go down to the lower time frame and I'll show you the power of your Fibonacci. We're looking for four things in the market, how we're doing our total analysis. The first one is time and price. Second one is the higher time frame order flow will give us a direction on what the market is going to do next. It will help you to know what the market is going to do next so you don't enter a dilemma or get confused on how you analyze your chart. The third one is liquidity. We're looking for the next draw on liquidity, either buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity. And the last one is institutional reference point, your other block, mitigation block, fair value gap, liquidity void, and the rest. Now I'm going to start with one month. On one month time frame here, I can see a break of structure here. I like marking it with the body. I mark my break of structure where the body starts from. That's the break of structure on one month. But if you look up very, very well, you, rea you realize that the market was pushed down around this fair value gap here. And also there was a mitigation block here, which reacted for the market. External range liquidity was taken and the closest institutional reference point was what pulled it down to the main flow of the market. Now you're going to mark your other block here, but you don't really need it because it's one month and measure the other block from the height to the low. 50% of that other block, oh, sorry about that. 50% of that other block is what they call mean threshold. Is what we call mean threshold. That's 50% of the other block. And I'm going to delete this whole box because we're already in there. So don't make the chart so rough. Now, if I look inside here, I don't see any fair value gap. And if I go from here, from my low to my high, the only, the only institutional reference point I can see in the word discount is my favorite, my other block here and my main threshold. Meaning that market is going to come back up here to clear what? To clear this what? External range liquidity. So this higher, this higher place is liquidity for us, which I see is making us know that this is how we do our thought and analysis. So I know in my heart and in my mind that market is going to pull up. And take that so i'm going to be looking for more of buy because one month is showing me a bullish momentum i come down to one week on one week i am on a bearish scenario and do not forget that this zone here has shown me that this is the mean threshold of one week but don't forget also that this is liquidity this is liquidity old lows old lows is liquidity so market has taken a lot of liquidity right and for one week what am i seeing the next fair value gap is around here, which I expect market to push back again and act very, very funny around that area. Is my expectation markets act very, very funny. Another fair value gap is around here also. But I know that market has to go up in a way. But if you watch ICT's video on his video on swing trading, you realize that he said one month, one day not one month one week so if you're already on one month or that block of fair value gap you're looking for a change of character on one day so if i come down to one day i'm going to, i know i'm going to go long for this trade right i'll look at that they what happened here market shifted structure around here right market shifted structure and this is one day chart following ict rule if you go and watch his video on swing trading you'll hear him say when you're on the one month chart, your your main your main focus should be one day and four hours. Your change of character. It depends on how you want to enter your trade. Now, what I see here now, market has shifted structure. I'll take my Fibonacci from my high, from my low to my high, right? Now, what I have here is what I have here is other block. I have my other block, and I also have a fair value gap here, but it's in discounts, which I'll be a bit scared. A bit but if i measure my what if i measure my other block here from my low to my high right from the low to the high here to get my mean threshold of other blocks i always like to mark mean threshold of other blocks it gives me 
a more confident so in case market acting crazy i know that okay i still have one more confidence to get into now those that they trade are going to counter trade because why they are in their premium and this is discount and in our discount we have to buy in our premium we have to sell and at the moment price is at premium so those that are day trading or scalping will be will see opportunity to actually pull down and don't forget also there's a fair value gap here which i feel market might get to and that's very very funny to pull it down market might get this fair value gap might get the fair value gap and push it down and there's an institutional reference point here and that another word um implied fair value gap sorry implied fair value gap around here also so we have two fair value gap one here and one inside this line but now i'm a trend trader one day one day one hour right and i'll come down to those that want to use four hours can also keep following the trend break of structure no break of structure here but they got an other block here and they also got liquidity this is an inducement around here for those that actually those that actually using the four hours and 15 minutes to trade the day traders now for those that want to counter trade they wait for a change of market structure from one hour those that want to counter trade wait for a shift in market structure from one hour don't forget the external range liquidity was being taken from one day right this is what the change of character external range liquidity and what happened a change of character took place around here a shift in market structure took place around here and those that are counter trading will take their entry from this fair value gap inside here and target up as their stop loss but what for me i'm going to be waiting for market to get to okay sorry about that my trading view has frozen okay so I'm going to wait for markets to get to the fair value gap or I wait for markets to get to the what they call it the um mean threshold of the other block. I don't know what's wrong with trading views acting crazy. Now I want to show you how I'll get my entry. So I have a rule that one day, one hour, four hours, 15 minutes. That's how I was trained to trade right now if i'm waiting for my four hour which i was making that mistake before i would have missed entry but now i mark the two points i'm seeing here i'm seeing a fair value gap and other block here as my main threshold if i come down to my one hour right i'm seeing what i'm seeing that a swing point was being violated here which signaled to me a change of character right those that some people can go as low as 5 15 minutes they can go as low as five minutes to get a more and more refined entry but those that are swing trading will just wait for this mss to take place here this mss to take place here as a shift in market structure don't forget the rule one day market shifted structure and we follow the trend waiting for market to come in here right and what do we see a shift in market structure and we'll take our entry from where we'll take our entry from where the fair value gap i always like to enter get my entry from fair value gap okay our entry will be from fair value gap as long as you're following all the confluences right fair value gap and you come down to one day and you're looking for the next draw on liquidity you're looking for the next draw on liquidity and next draw on liquidity is above here which I'm, I'm still targeting markets to get to why because it's an old high which i'm targeting for markets to get to i know what's wrong with trading view so the trade is still going on and that's what i targeted as my take profit around here because why it's the next draw on liquidity since the change of quarter has taken place here market to act funny here and market to act funny around here you can see how easy it is right even with at even with that is being this easy you can go down to four hours you can go down to four hours and what are you looking on four hours you are seeing what a shift in market structure here you saw a shift in market structure here and you marked what you marked this other block let me delete this area 
you mark this other block and you also saw an amazing beautiful what amazing beautiful what fair value gap around here i can come down to 15 minutes on 15 minutes i'm looking for i'm looking for what a shift in market structure that will take place on 15 minutes what was wrong my trading views acting funny you're looking for a shift in market structure on 15 minutes you'd have entered from here and gotten stopped out around here another entry around here and the last one now which is around here with the trade is even currently on but for me that i'm also a, i'm a swing trader and i'm swinging at the moment i prefer to just do one day one hour and i'm out of the market so this is the easiest way i do my top down analysis being a swing trader from one day beautifully down to my one hour and i peacefully have my peace of mind so i hope this video was impactful and not so noisy as trading view was not being so nice with me today i don't know why but i hope this was impactful for you if you don't understand ask in the comment section and i will explain it or redo the video again thank you very much